Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian Visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Kao Yang, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested in migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once about all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Okay, uh, this weekend's uh, video, I would like to update some uh, news in regards to the topic of immigration and also some not a direct uh, influence or effect, but more about r real estate markets. Anyway, um, it's a, it's a, we, we're just being into a new financial year, excitement, uh, and a lot of people still waiting. Uh, I know there has been a lot of delays. There's not much, much that we can do that we do understand that the government of Australia is looking to slow down the migration in, in ways to tackle uh, the so-called uh, housing crisis. Despite there's so many other criticisms in regards to the housing reforms and how the government haven't really been assisting the housing market or construction markets but anyhow that's not what we really gonna talk about today uh, but I would like to share a uh, numbers of uh, news in regards to the um, the sector of immigration so let's have a look at the uh, since the new uh, policy in regards to the uh, employment, uh, the employer exploitations there has been numbers of other things been happening in the West and Western Australia. So this is a news media has been posted by the Australian Federal Police uh, talking about the uh, Western Australia pair charged with alleged uh, offence against seven foreign workers after F AFP human trafficking investigation. So there has been numbers of uh, uh, workforce, should I say, or task force uh, issued by the border force uh, and also Home Affairs and Australian Federal Police to investigate uh, a lot of these uh, so-called uh, tr human trafficking or the uh, employment uh, exploitations where uh, there has been foreign workers being working there uh, seems to be six but I think this uh, it's it's nationwide it's not the only one but there's actually a lot of out there currently unfortunately that's uh, what's you know been happening all, all, all around Australia and yesterday uh, if you have followed the news there's a, a headline in regards to uh, a, a couple again uh, they are uh, originally um, uh, migrated from Russia has been uh, you know targeted and also found to be a espionage, under espionage law uh, they have been transferring uh, sensitive information of government documents and uh, data uh, to Russia uh, I don't know why um, but anyhow this kind of stuff uh, uh, we are in a well, should I say fortunate or unfortunate? But we're just being in a uh, a period of our history where uh, the two uh, major uh, democratic nations is going against the uh, uh, autocratic nations out there. Unfortunately, that's what we've been facing for. So watch out. And if you do know any, uh, sus if you do suspect uh, any suspicions of activities uh, going on, uh, you know, report to the police or report through the uh, government's website. There now, another one is uh, unfortunately we understand that the. Um, the international education sector has been uh, quite tough where we have learned uh, that the new policies are putting uh, passport and na nationals uh, under a certain level of risks where they are you know the likelihood of they're getting visas and also the likelihood through a particular especially on the vet sectors uh high rates of refusals now there's uh, uh, a surge of chinese students uh, outnumber uh, other in asylum claim uh, despite there has been uh, internal issues within uh, the chat in China uh, so obviously a lot of Chinese um, students international students uh, is do not want to perhaps return back to China they want to uh, search for a better lifestyle perhaps uh, and they, there's no other ways uh, because you if you if they are on a 45 visa uh, they cannot you know 
onshore uh, applying for another student visa uh, and if they are on a uh, 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 visa visa they cannot apply for student visa unless they are on working work and holiday visa subclass 462 uh, so a lot of people just just uh, I don't know what the agency out there has been advised to these uh, Chinese students to actually launch uh, you know protection visa which is not the right thing to do uh, again uh, we never uh, you, know, you know advise such information because that's basically telling almost lie unless unless you're you have already been targeted uh, political wise uh, by the government of uh, elsewhere that you, you have fears to return uh, to the country of your origins uh, then the, that's uh, but you need to have you know supporting documents uh, behind so otherwise it's 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 not going to be easy to actually do that so uh, here's the figure uh, there has been international student under protection visa application by country uh, in may 2024 so uh, people from china have 3555 india 1112 malaysia 1788 malaysia has, seems to be a high number there has been some um, I, I think i have done a particular video on this one well, probably last year uh, they have been high number in lodging uh, asylum seeking but uh, a lot of them has been turned down uh, now recently uh, China has overtake everybody uh, become the uh, top ranking uh, nationalities uh, to lodge this visa so uh, Abu Rizbi again the uh, the well-known uh, previous uh, profession works in the in the, in the um, in the in in the department uh has said that they expect a student asylum claim to continue to grow uh because there's no other way to do it so uh unless these people return back to uh the or the, the country of origin but they will know if they return back there it's it's gonna be very very hard for them to actually apply for another visa again uh this is not the right way to do it uh and if you look at this numbers in the financial year of june they were 77,185 visa granted for Chinese student compared to uh, 45,659 Indian student. But, you know, uh, if th once these people uh, graduate, uh, if they uh, uh, they had no other way to do to do anything else, perhaps that's the uh, only route that they will lodge a visa again. Uh, we do we strongly do not advise this if you do see anyone uh, advising such um, application to be lodged it's totally wrong uh, you, you know we should should you know advise them or put their you know put them in the dot line against the, the government so the government can fix this kind of thing these are the things that's the reason and that uh, the government is turning down on the so-called ghost colleges uh, and also the utilization of student visa to prolong staying so-called the permanent temporary status in Australia which is not the goal or the vision of any government so-called uh, they what they want so again it's not the right thing to do but it's out on the uh, media so might as well to just, just let everybody know now last but not least uh, this is not really relates to the immigration f uh, sector but uh, if you wanted to migrate here we go okay the any money anti money laundering target real estate agent lawyers and accountants so the federal government has put in a task force now this news has been a week uh, uh we did not uh, report it to everybody but i wanted to share with everyone because uh as we know that the housing market has been grown so much now uh currently and i do know uh, in fact especially in those uh uh, mention those high price housings or prestigious houses out there especially in the uh, in New South Wales has been targeted and used by the uh, the money launderers the the criminal groups international criminal groups out there uh, because they can uh, technically sign to purchase those properties and then utilize the the trust account from the the lawyers or the builder or constructors to actually transfer those huge amount of money we're talking about tens of thousands of uh, millions 
uh, dollars. Uh, it's not just one million or two mil. It, perhaps it's got to be a lot more, 10, 20 mil. Some sort of uh, property like that has been really targeted by those uh, criminal groups. So watch out uh, if you do have any friends who works in the real estates or they are lawyers because lawyers trust account. Uh, or, although they do get audited by the law society, but they do not go through the anti-money laundering uh, policy and also they are not required to actually report any suspicious activities uh, which is actually very hard for all lawyers accountant or real estate agent to actually do so but again they are now being targeted so uh, i wonder how this will actually go uh, it will actually affect re the real estate market uh, but not in a major uh, you know, not not towards everybody, but I think some of the sector they specialize in selling prestigious housings, or those projects, uh, apartments where they sell um, hundreds, tens of hundreds of units uh, has been held some sort of fund uh, underneath some other, you know, other trust account or whatever the structure that is. They will probably be in uh you know getting some not trouble but complications coming from the government anyways if you have more questions and query more than welcome to leave comment right down below and i'll see you next video goodbye